This next video is a continuation of the presentation WebLogic Server on Kubernetes CI CD deployments. The material that I will be covering in this demonstration has already been released. Running the introspected WebLogic domain in Kubernetes. The image tool is an open source tool that can be used to create a WebLogic binary image and patch that image. You can apply patch set updates or a set of one of patches. When you invoke image tool create, you pass in a list of patches that you want applied, the version of WebLogic and the server JRE, and you pass in my Oracle support credentials so that the tool can download the patches. The tool will use Docker best practices to build a patched binary image of WebLogic, optimizing the size of that image. So it, make, it creates an image that is as small as possible. The tool will create an image starting with the Oracle Linux base image. Then it will install the server JRE. It will install the WebLogic binaries. It will go and download the patch using OPatch. It will patch the WebLogic binaries and then push into the local repository the WebLogic image. The WebLogic image tool can be used to create and patch a WebLogic image, but also to build that domain configuration and application inside of the image. And it does that by integrating with the WebLogic deploy tool. In this case, you would invoke the create tool and pass in my Oracle support credentials and list of patches that you want applied the WDT model, and the application archive. And then the tool will construct a binary image and then invoke WDT at build time to create that domain configuration and deployments in that domain. You can also update an existing image. Let's say you are updating your application and you have some changes to the configuration. You can invoke the update what is the existing image that you want to update, passing in WDT model or sparse model of your domain. You pass in your application archive with an updated application, and then the tool will take the from image, the image that you want to modify, and then it will invoke WDT to make that domain configuration change as well as deploy the new application. The image tool also has a rebase tool. So if you have to only update a lower layer in your domain image, for example, you wanna update your server JRE, the tool will update that lower layer without modifying the upper layers. I have two pipelines. The first pipeline will take that introspected domain and run it in Kubernetes. This pipeline only runs once. And then I have a pipeline where I go and I modify my application, modify my configuration, and then automatically it will apply those changes into my running domain in Kubernetes. So I have here the WDT YAML model that I had introspected originally. I have the application archive that was created by the introspection. I have my domain properties that have the properties that I want replaced inside of my WDT YAML. And then I want to show you my pipeline, the steps in my pipeline. My Kubernetes cluster is in OCI. It's an OKE cluster, our Kubernetes service. And I will be pushing my image into OCIR repository. In order to do that, I need to name my image a specific name. It has to have the region, it has to have the name of the tenancy, and then the name of the image with a tag. So this is going to represent the very first image that I'm going to create. So this is my image tool command. So I'm going to invoke image tool create. I pass it as parameters the name of my image that I wanted to create the version of WebLogic that I want installed, the server JRE version that I want installed. I pass in my 
WDT YAML model, my application archive name, the location inside of the image where I want my domain home to reside, and I pass in the domain properties, which will be replaced in the YAML model when it creates the domain. The second step is to push that image that the image tool creates into the Oracle container registry. And then the last step is to take the domain YAML and create the domain custom resource so that the operator, when it sees that domain custom resource, it can run the WebLogic domain in Kubernetes. Before I invoke my pipeline, let's look at my domain YAML to see what properties are defined. In my domain YAML, I have some metadata, and then I have details of the desired state of how I want to run my domain. I tell it that my domain is going to be inside of a Docker image. The name of the image that I'm going to be building inside of my pipeline. I give it some environment variables, my Java options, and then I tell it some details about my how I want it to run my admin server, and then I am only going to run one of my clusters. And replicas represents the number of managed servers that I want running inside of that cluster. Demo CI CD is my pipeline. This is my GitHub repository. Let's build a pipeline so that we can create the image, push it into the repository, and then create the domain custom resource, and then the operator will stand up the WebLogic domain based on uh, that image. You can see the different steps here in my pipeline. So now it's building the image, so we can look at the logs. So you see that it's invoking the image tool. It's passing in the WebLogic installer and the JDK. The first step it's going to install WebLogic, it will apply the patches that I ask it to apply, and then uh, it will invoke WDT to build the domain and then deploy the application. While this runs, I want to show you this is my tenancy in OCI. I have my registry, so this is a registry where after the image tool finishes building that image, it will push the image into this registry. And then the other thing I wanted to show you is my cluster. So I have an MR cluster, and this cluster has three different uh, nodes, each one on a different availability domain that is in the region of Phoenix. Another thing that I want to show you is uh, my Kubernetes cluster by invoking the Kubernetes command line interface. So these are the three nodes that I just showed you from the OCI UI. Then I'm going to show you my namespaces. So I have namespace where I run the operator. This operator is going to be managing my on-prem domain. This is a namespace where the domain is going to be running. And this is the namespace where my traffic load balancer will be running. At this moment, I don't have anything running in my on-prem domain namespace, so I don't have any pods running there. So we can see that the pipeline uh, completed successfully. So now we should have a domain running on Kubernetes. So let's do the... There you have it. So there's an admin server and three managed servers. So now we should be able to attach console and then look at the application. So if we start looking at the servers, there is the admin server, three managed servers running. We can look at the deployment. So there we have our OP demo deployed and running. So let's look at the monitoring. You can see that it has been deployed to the cluster. And then we have also our data source. There it is, this data source. We can also do monitoring and it's uh, running. So there's the application. 
It's just a simple web app. It tells you the server where it is, and then it gets some mBeans from that data source that I just showed you. We can load balance across three, one, two. Make sure to watch the next video, part three, updating the application and domain configuration of the running domain in Kubernetes.